Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future starts today. Live life to the fullest, never skip a day. Create hope, spread positivity. Beat your addictions and negativity. Ralph Reed Rich is here for you. Call today so we can help you. 1 844405 help. 1 844405 help. 1 844405 help. We are here for you. Call us today. Hello, my name is Ralph Fredericks. I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you and let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of the coffin. You tried lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from getting out. You think today is the day for death. Then you think, well, maybe if I bang on the lid, I can unsettle the dirt that's upon the lid, and maybe, just maybe, somebody might start digging their way down to help me. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You don't know where to get help. You just know you need to get the help. In reality, there are people standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think today you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind that while you were abusing drugs and alcohol, that maybe, just maybe, you might be abusing the worst type of thing that you can put into your body, and those are uh, drugs and alcohol, and you'll take your life that was preciously given to you by the Lord Jesus away, not just from yourself, but more selfishly. You're taking a life away from the people that count on you most, your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, your children, and your grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be the person that I'm reading about on, this, on these index cards that waited until it was way too late to get help. Instead, be a person that goes out today and gets the help by calling at 844-405-HELP, and I promise you, I'll help you take your life back before your life is gone. There are people like Larry Geis, over 30 years experience as a life coach, over 30 years experience as an addiction recovery coach. He and I always tell people like you, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter where you've been, what matters is that you're here reaching out for help to Larry Geis at 516-458-2741, Larry Geis can also be found when you Google him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis will help you from your addiction to your recovery, from your depression to happier times, from your low self-esteem to higher self-esteem. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy, 516-458-2741. As everyone knows that I recently was up in Alaska, and I was amazed to find this article in the uh, Alaska Daily News. And it's entitled, Cannabis Convention Controversy. The free samples that'll run you $299, the free samples of marijuana, that is. The second Northwest Cannabis uh, Classic Trade Show at the Dina's Civics and Convention Center over the weekend had plenty of free giveaways, including marijuana leaf stickers and lighters. A few exhibitor booths even had edible sunshine candies and cookies but they wouldn't get you high. These aren't infused, said Martin Christensen of the Oracle Cookie Company, pointing at the elaborately flavored cookies he had laid out for the convention and trend attendees to try. The cops actually came over and asked me, are these infused? Anchorage Police Department Sergeant Josh Nolder and two other officers walked into the vet on the convention floor to make sure a pot wasn't being consumed, bought, or sold. We're also here to make sure that no free samples are being given out, he said, adding, that, uh, adding later that the majority of people who came here came to get free marijuana, although Alaska law allows possessing and gifting up to one ounce of marijuana, a resolution passed by the Anchorage Assembly in advance of last year's convention prohibits pot giveaways inside municipal building during trade shows.
It is a, a decision that the Northwest Cannabis Classic organizer, Corey Wray, disputes, saying people coming to marijuana convention want to sample marijuana products. So Ray made it happen either way. The exhibitors who rented spaces to sell and grow lights, pipes, and their ideas weren't allowed to provide samples of cannabis to attendees, but most of the 100 people who paid the Northwest Cannabis Classic $299 to become a convention VIPs received cannabis inside their swag bags. The regular day and weekend entrance fees range from $35 to $60, so if you pay $299, you were considered a VIP and you received marijuana. It's worth it, said Ma uh, Mary Kathy, pulling two small packages of marijuana from her VIP bag on Saturday. She eagerly paid the fee, not just for the pot, but for the other benefits, such as exclusive breakfast and dinners, preferred show seating, special access to exhibitors, and pass to convention after party hey, held at the potluck events, a marijuana social club in downtown Anchorage. Ray contends VIPs are not paying for a little bag of marijuana, so don't be mistaken. They are paying for all of the events, and if you believe that, you're wrong. This is another case of legal sale of drugs. The pot, sam the pot samples didn't sit well with the conference goer, Charles Simon, who didn't pay the VIP package. I was told on the phone there'd be no samples whatsoever, so that's why I came. Oh, there would be samples, not, there would be not, there would be samples, and that's why I came. So whoever got a VIP bag got a free sample of hemp, and nobody else can get any of these samples. That makes it unfair to the crowd, and that has got me quite upset. They can't do that, said Steve Medina, the Dina Center Operation Managers. We heard they were handing out VIP bags, but I didn't know what was in them. Medina said the contract, the Dina uh, Sender has with Nor Northwest Cannabis Classic spelled out the rules according to the Assembly's uh, 2015 resolution. It's the same as last year's. Nothing has changed. This is not our first rodeo. We did it last year, Ray said. Despite last year's pre <clears throat> precedent, Medina said he put a stop to this year's VIP samples. By mid-afternoon Saturday, he said he instructed convention workers to remove the pot from the bags. But by that time, many of them had already been given out, probably already smoked on the outside. They're pushing the envelope, Medina said of the cannabis group. They'll do whatever they can until they get caught. If Dinia wants to sue me because I broke their contract, then that's up to Dinia, Ray said. He insisted the state law should prevail. People have civil liberties and... One of those liberties uh, that voters of Alaska have approved by the ballot measure to, which gives people the right to possess up to one ounce of marijuana and give it away. And then he questioned the convention entirely. Am I um, happy with the police walking around and uh, they're creating tension and make people feel very uncomfortable? Absolutely not, he said. Will we come back next year? Probably not. Will any show come back? Probably not. Charles Simon came back, walking in through Deanna front door uh, with a satisfi satisfied smile on his face. Sadly, I had to go home truly to enjoy this experience, he said with a laugh. Folks, you go in there before they shut it down in the afternoon, but you go in there and you pay the $299 VIP fee. And the state of Alaska allows up to one ounce of pot to be given away. So the people that paid the two ninety nine got one ounce of pot in their VIP bags. That is a sheer case of legalized uh, pot, um, legalized drug selling. Because the people that didn't pay the two ninety nine didn't get the pot. That's the difference. If everybody got pot, one ounce in the bag, I would say, okay, it's not legalized selling drugs. But because you paid two ninety nine you got to pot. This is sheer unallowable uh, in my eyes. Even the cops were walking around the convention center making sure that the cookies weren't spiked and there was no marijuana, marijuana being given away. But again, the VIP bags had it. 
two ninety nine, and you receive it in the VIP bag. Now, do you think that should be allowed? That just because you paid an exorbitant fee as a VIP member, that you should be able to get that? That's like going into um, to the supermarket, and when you walk in, they said, "Listen, down by the beer and the wine, as long as you pay us a twenty dollar fee." you'll be able to get the beer and wine for free on a Sunday, which in most states you're not allowed to have alcohol. On a Sunday, you walk into the supermarket and they'll give you alcohol because you paid a fee to walk in. To me, that's the same difference as walking into a convention and getting one ounce of pot for free because you paid two ninety nine. You are not getting that pot for free. You just pay two ninety nine for that pot, which is legalized selling drugs. Now, I don't know how many states have this issue, but in the state of Alaska, I'm sure they'll look into it. The uh, legislation was approved that in 2015, it was approved that up to one ounce of marijuana can be given away for free. Then it should have been given away from every person that walked into that convention, not the people that just paid the two ninety nine. The two ninety nine paid for the pot. Bottom line, it all comes down to that, and this is why we have to be so careful with our children that we explain these differences because in a child's eye, the teenager would say, "Wow, for two ninety nine, I pay a fee and I get pot for free." The law, the legislation, clearly states that no marijuana or anakin cannabis can be given away in a municipal building, yet they did it. The police should have arrested not only the people that were handing this out, but the people that had the pot in their bag. The people that paid the two ninety nine should have known that they were paying for the pot. They should have known that. Folks, I hope that you understand that just because you paid, and I want to show you the title, look at this title here. See that title? I want you to know that you did not get that pot for two ninety nine for free. You paid for your drugs. This convention, the person that was running this booth was a drug dealer. Not in a legal sense, but in my book, he was a drug dealer. He was selling drugs. And the police walked right past him a few times. Not until after 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon did they finally shut down this particular booth of giving away pot. Think of all the people that already got it. Think of a teenager that paid the two ninety nine and walked out with an ounce of pot. An ounce of pot is a lot of pot. Let's all be realistic and let's all be very clear, and let's all be very fair. If you walk into a convention and the state of Alaska allows you to give away pot, number one, it states not in a municipal building. They did that. Number two, if you're going to give away pot, it should be to everyone that is within legal age, not to people that just paid a fee of two ninety nine. because to me, that is selling drugs legally. Folks, I hope to God you enjoyed this show today. And remember that if you see anything like this here, anything, read that title, it's probably not legal. Please have the best day of your life. But more importantly, think smart before you make, before you make purchases. And please have a sober rest of your life. And may God bless each and every one of you. Call me at 844-405-HELP if you have any questions, need any help whatsoever. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah, change your future, starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
day. Thank you.
show is over But your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich Yeah